Well, Darwin City Council has engaged a consulting company to prepare a parking study on the CBD. The study will look at the current and future parking needs as the city grows. However, business operators say it's too little, too late. During the middle of a busy work day, it's unusual to see any empty car parks in the heart of the city. But the vacant few today proved to be an ironic setting for the Lord Mayor to announce a new parking study is set to get underway. It's time that we got some new data together to look at the next 10 years or so as, as terms of a parking strategy. Um, and we've got some big things happening in parking at the moment, so it's very timely. Specifically, the consulting firm will look at the current and future needs for parking and how it's already being utilised. This information will then help the council make future design decisions in a CBD which is constantly growing. Darwin's changing and growing into a big city and people need to realise that the old country town mentality of parking at the front of the shop you want to visit is probably not realistic. The study will take at least four months to compile all the relevant technical and economic data. Following that time, the council will then consider a draft strategy, which they hope has a particular focus on improving public transport. Everywhere else in Australia, the relationship between public transport and parking and stuff is, is very close. And you know, the government and us need to have some detailed conversations about what their parking, sorry, what their public transport strategies for the future are, so that we can map parking around that. But the parking issue continues to be a thorn in the council's side, with businesses still fuming over the proposed Kavanagh Street revamp, which suggested eliminating 100 parking spots. Those businesses say this new study is too little too late, but the Lord Mayor continues to call for feedback and public discussion in order to deal with the dispute. I would think over the next sort of five to ten years there will be significantly more car parks in Darwin and then hopefully once we get a, a public transport system in place that works properly we'll be able to phase that down and we won't have to keep increasing it too much beyond that. Kathleen Bruin, Nine News.